Hey guys, and welcome to another vlog. Please ignore the mess that is my living room. I need to clean up later, but right now I have to go to my PO box and I have to try to find a little cafe or somewhere to get some work done. I feel like I've been in the house way too many days in a row. It's making me have a little bit of cabin fever, so I just need to switch up my environment, uh, which I talked about before. When you're freelancing, you just gotta get out of your element sometimes to find inspiration or clarity, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go to my PO box and find out what's going on. I may have a few packages from you guys and we'll see where the day goes so let's go this studio vlog is brought to you by Arteza we'll jump into what they're all about in just a minute but for now let's jump into this content Hey guys, and welcome to another studio vlog. If you are new here, my name is Sheena and I'm a digital content creator, video editor, and Etsy shop owner based out of New York City. Now in all of my previous studio vlogs, I am usually at home in my apartment where I have a small office area set up. And in this space, I do my everyday work from creating product to admin work to video editing. However, I decided to step out today and try out a local Brooklyn cafe called Hungry Ghost. So overall, I think it was a really cute and quaint space and it had a good vibe and some decent music. Now, one thing that this cafe was missing that was really disappointing were bathrooms. So unfortunately, if you were sitting down for more than an hour and consuming a lot of coffee and water, you would eventually have to go, which means that you would have to leave. Also, I noticed there weren't many outlets at all. So if you were someone who wanted to do a bit of freelance work and sit down and spend a few hours, you would not be able to do that because your devices would probably die on you. So that was pretty disappointing. So I'd say overall, this is a very cute coffee shop to maybe sit and have a meeting or knock out one or two emails, but definitely not a place to sit down and do long-term real work. So once I finished up there, I decided to head over to my P.O. box and I actually decided to close it and I'll discuss a bit more of that with you guys when I get home. All right, guys, I am back from the coffee shop um, and it felt good. I don't get out enough. And today was just a friendly reminder that I just need to get out of my environment sometimes to feel inspired and motivated. And I was actually able to get a decent amount of work done, but I'm gonna try to get out more. And of course I will document for you guys because I know how hard it can be as a freelancer, um, finding co-working spaces and cafes that are suited for people to come in and do work. So you guys will kind of see me go through that process and that journey. Let's talk shop. So number one, I just want to say thank you so much to all of you that have placed orders. There have even been repeat customers where I'm like, you guys are just so awesome. You spent money with me already and now you're back looking to spend more money. And I just appreciate you guys and I'm happy that I was able to gain your trust and your sale and it just means a lot to me. So thank you. Good news is I am working on some new product. I have finished out an entire new sticker pack, which you guys will see me release very, very soon. And then um, I've also been working on some functional stickers. So things like to-do lists and grocery lists because you guys have mentioned that, you know, you would like to see some more functional planner stickers so your girl is working on that don't worry it will be released in just a few days so now let's talk p.o box which is just like one of the most annoying things ever so i live fairly close to a post office like you know walking distance but they never have mailboxes available i've gone there so many freaking times i'm on their waiting list online and i still can't get a p.o box so that is extremely annoying so i had to get a ups p.o box which is much further from my home so that's annoying and the second reason why i don't like it is because they're staff isn't great they just didn't follow through with this whole like automated system and all these perks and so I actually went in uh, picked up my mail and then canceled my PO box which is like has me very stressed right now because now I have to find a new PO box to be able to complete shipments for you guys um <sighs> We'll see how that goes, but I have to find a new P.O. box and hopefully one closer to home. Um, so if it's not a super amazing experience, at least I'm not walking a million fucking steps to get to my mailbox. So I figured while I have a second, I'm going to share some of my mail with you guys, what I've received, and then um, just kind of talk about what's next. Okay, so here I have a, uh, what feels like a card, and I'm pretty sure I know who it is. So excited and girl, I am so sorry to me this long to go get this freaking mail. I knew it, it's a Christmas card from Desi. She is so sweet and I told you guys, she is a friend that I made um, here on YouTube and on Instagram. We've met up like two or three times and she's just a sweetheart. Oh Lord, uh, 
I want to show you guys the inside so much because she has her daughter in here and she is such a freaking angel. Um, but I'm not going to share someone else's child on here. It's just not appropriate. That was such a sweet gesture. And I just suck at sending cards. I promise I'm going to do better this year. And then I got this package from Nimstix, I believe. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Nimstix or Nimstix. And it's from someone named Jasmine. So I'm going to open it up and show you guys. Oh, uh, wow, you guys. So freaking adorable. You guys are so dope. And I'm just proud of all the work you've done. So this is her donut sticker pack. Can we just say adorable? Like, come on now. She has a celebrate sticker pack. Like, I need to make more stuff like this. I suck at making little sticker packs like this, but it looks great. She has like the rounded corners, it's kiss cut, beautifully made, beautifully made and packaged. Oh, planter stickers, very cute, <laughs> very cute. Oh, she sent me so much. Jasmine, come on. Oh my God, guys, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Look at these, oh my God, these are so cute. She literally made like custom stickers for me, like based off of the Bitmoji. And guys, this is so freaking cute. So when you guys come to me, you say like, I'm not good at drawing and all of that. Jasmine didn't make that a problem. She figured it out and these look amazing. So if you're not someone who like likes to draw or maybe you're not like artistically inclined, Guys, Bitmoji is a great idea. Finding clip art is a great idea. At the end of the day, you're curating it, but you guys, these are custom. Like she made this for me and they're so freaking cute. And I do think it kind of looks like me, right? Like, check it out. It does kind of look like me. Come on, like I don't even include cards like this. She has really gone all out. So thank you so, so much, Jasmine. These are just beautiful. Um, her shop is called Nimsticks. Oh, she even has her own site. Girl is super profesh. It's like super professional. Like her packaging, her labels, everything looks great. And girl, I'm loving these black envelopes. Like where did you get these? That's my PO Box mail. So I'm probably going to just go put on my PJs, probably watch some Gossip Girl and just get some sketching done. I am trying to work on a few more sticker packs to try to get as much product out as possible for you guys. And I'm also working on a few different client projects, which is great. I'm basically doing um, commissioned artwork. So if you message me and you want like a portrait drawn, I am taking commissions right now. And I have about four or five customers in my inbox right now that I'm going back and forth with. And I just finished up one portrait for a client and it's just amazing. She was amazing. And I'm pretty sure she loves it, which makes me happy. So if you guys are interested, just email me. Um, but yeah, thank you to anyone that sends me this stuff. I really, really appreciate it. And I would say like, oh, check out my PO box and send me more, but that's like close as of today. So do not send stuff to my PO box for now until I find a new one. But I'm glad that Jasmine made it through the cracks because girl, your product is awesome. So that's it. I'm gonna go settle in, get a bite to eat. I appreciate you guys so much and I will pop back on when I have some more footage for you. Okay, so this is now the next morning, as you can tell by my pajamas, and I'll actually be filling a few orders and making some adjustments to a few sticker packs. Now, I know this may sound super cliche and corny, but I do enjoy the packing process. I know a lot of people are like, why don't you just outsource that? Or it seems like a lot of steps, but for me, doing work like this, work that's a bit monotonous, um, is very good for me because my everyday is usually running around and being under a ton of stress to get videos and emails out. So I I do enjoy this process. So while I continue packing up these orders, I want to take a quick moment to thank this video sponsor, Arteza. Now I've used a few of their products in the past, including their hardbound sketchbook. It is literally one of my go-to products to just quickly draft and sketch art on the go. Now, if you guys have never heard of Arteza, they are a premium art supply brand offering an array of products for any type of artist. So if you're into color pencils, felt tip markers, or maybe just having some fun in a coloring book, they're going to have some product on their site for you. And one thing I specifically love about their site is they offer so many bundles. So maybe if you're overwhelmed by the large assortment of products that they have, you can go through and check out one of their bundles to get you started on any project. 
you'll also notice as you scan through the product that everything is quite affordable. So even if you're a brand new artist and you don't wanna to throw too much money into a project, this will be your go-to site to get anything that you'll need to get going. So if you guys wanna check out Arteza, I will have their website linked below, as well as a few links to products that I personally enjoy to give you guys a bit of money off of your purchase. So thank you again to Arteza and let's jump back into this content. Now what you guys see me doing here is just experimenting with making some gift tags. I found a PNG that I thought was really cute. And I also remember that the Cricut has a feature where you can insert a pen and it will actually draw whatever font that you put into the Cricut design space. So I decided to try that out. Now I don't know if I wanna add this to the product lineup or not, but definitely comment below and let me know if this is something that you would purchase or not. But I do think they came out pretty cute. guys so welcome back to the vlog i know it's been some time but i've been really really sick just dealing with my tooth and then i got a really bad cold and so you know your girl had to rest up and just get back to normalcy um so now i'm actually headed out i'm running a bit late but i have to go to the post office and pick up my new p.o box keys because i had to cancel my old one i'll explain that later and then i have to go get a temporary crown boo at the dentist so i need to get going and i figured i would take you guys along with me so let's go so i decided to step out again and try another coffee shop and this one is located in clinton hill which is a really cute neighborhood in brooklyn and they are called callier or Kalier. i'm probably butchering that um, but it was an amazing experience because it was a bright day and they have huge windows which let a lot of light in there was enough space where you didn't have people right on top of you or sitting right next to you. And they also had outlets scattered throughout the cafe. Something else that was definitely a major perk is they have bathrooms. Like, of course, an essential that you need in a coffee shop and a workspace. So that was an automatic thumbs up for me. And the coffee wasn't cheap, but it wasn't super expensive. It was probably around three bucks, but you know, you're paying for that trendy broken experience. So I would say overall, it was definitely a cute experience and a nice vibe, and I would come back here to actually get work done. So I would say it wasn't a total fail. Now what I'm doing today is actually finishing up a client illustration. I'm not sure if most of you know, but I started taking commissions to do client work from logo creation to actual portraits. And so for this client, I am doing four individual photos for her that she will be putting on product. I can't say too much, but that's basically the concept. And I feel so lucky to be able to work with these amazing brand owners and clients. And if you guys are looking for anyone to illustrate or possibly do some brand art for you feel free to email me my email will be below in the description bar and we can have a chat So 
after working on this illustration for about an hour, I decided to head out and try to get my P.O. box situated. Now, as most of you know, I do have a P.O. box with UPS, and while I was happy to have it for the time that I did, it helped me to open up my shop. It just wasn't the best experience, and I was paying way too much money for it. I decided to go to my local USPS and see if they had a P.O. box available, which they did. And overall, it was a pretty seamless process. You just show up with your identification, and you just choose your P.O. box. Now, one thing that definitely helped me is doing it online. You're able to go onto USPS.com and check out if they have mailboxes available and you can reserve one and then just go to the post office to finish off the process and pick up your keys. So now because I finally have a P.O. box, I will list it below just in case you guys want to send me any snail mail or anything like that. I always enjoy getting things from you guys. So that will be down there. And I am just so relieved that that's over with. All right, so this is a few days later. I just got really busy and I also had a root canal, so I wasn't in the best mood, but I went ahead and finished off some packing. And again, thank you so much to you guys that order from me. Even some of you guys that have ordered more than once, thank you so, so much. And if you haven't checked out my shop, as always, I will have it linked below and you can go ahead and scan through and see if you can find anything that you like. All right guys, so I decided to switch up my freebies that I'm now including in every order. And if you've ordered from me before, then you know that I had the little Jupiter character and he was cut out into a piece of gray cardstock that I would put out. And I actually did an entire video on how I made those freebie stickers. So you can go ahead and click that link below and check it out. But now that I have run out of that prototype, I decided to try something new. So as you can see here, I am just cutting out those backing cards and then giving them the rounded corners because I just think it gives it a bit more of a professional look. And like I said, I enjoy these little monotonous tasks, especially when I'm listening to podcasts or a new music album. So now that those are done, all you're going to need is a Tombow adhesive pen, so when it comes to the sticker that I'll be using, I accidentally um, cut out too many of the New York like Greek coffee cups and they were actually too small to include in the sticker pack. So I decided to use them as freebies now and I think that you guys are gonna love them and they're definitely in alignment with the whole Brooklyn Post and New York theme. So I thought, why not? So just like my previous freebies, this is a super simple process. You cut out the cardstock, you can round the edges if you'd like. You take the Tombow adhesive roller or any adhesive that you have and you attach it to the card and that's it you guys so when the person gets the product they can just peel it off of this backing card and throw that away and be able to use the sticker but again really cute really simple and inexpensive and of course this is completely optional but you can go ahead and write on their freebie or extra or whatever you want to call it and then you can write a personal thank you note on the back just to make your client your customer just feel a bit more special and appreciated for their order there. So now that those freebies are all done, we are going to fill some more sticker packs because I ended up running out of these, which, you know, is never a bad thing. That means that they are selling, which is amazing. So I've shown this process before in a previous Vlogmas video, and I will also list that below, but I print these backing cards at home just on my regular printer, and then I cut them out by hand using this cutter. 
And yes, I'm aware that I can have backing cards outsourced, but I really enjoy doing processes like this and being able to use my hands because that's what Etsy is all about, the handmade process. And because my shop isn't too big to where I can't fulfill orders on my own, I do all these little things at home to save money and to save the back and forth process with a manufacturer. All right, and a few minutes later, all those backing cards are cut out to perfection. So now we're gonna start filling the sticker pack. So this sticker pack contains five die cut stickers of just things that remind me of New York City. And some of them are very cliche, but we all know what they are. And it's very easy to sell a product where people feel like they can align or recognize what you're selling. So I decided to include the Statue of Liberty a good old metro card because if you're a real new yorker you can't really get around without these the empire state building just because it is one of my favorites in new york city a yellow taxi because of course that's like so iconic for new york and then of course a greek inspired blue bodega coffee cup which i think every new yorker has seen before and now we're gonna start packing, which is a super simple process. You just get one of each, put it in front of your backing card, and then slide it into your cello bag. And yes, guys, I will be switching to recyclable cello bags, so don't worry about it. I just have to get through the stock that I already have because just throwing them away would also be very wasteful. So I'm gonna finish through the bags that I have and then switch over to a biodegradable solution. So now that all those sticker packs are filled, I'm gonna finish off the night just packing a few more orders to get out first thing in the morning. And if you guys wanna see a more thorough video on how I pack orders, I will have that linked below. And that video just kind of goes into detail of what I actually use and why I choose to use those particular supplies. So you can go ahead and check that out. So that's about it you guys i really hope you enjoyed this studio vlog if you have any questions definitely let me know below i really appreciate all of your love and support and comments i do see all of them and i'm trying to get back to all of you guys as soon as possible but i've been quite busy kind of going after some new business ventures i can't wait to update you guys and also share another etsy video to help you out with your shops and i hope you have an amazing week so if you're not subscribed, you can go ahead and do that below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.